Welcome to Module 2, Hard Banding, in a series of videos for hard banding solutions by Postal Industries. Now that your hard band unit is set up and ready to go, we will go ahead and hard band a tool joint with our premium DuraBand wire. We are using a hard banding machine manufactured by Coffee Manufacturing, so keep in mind that the parameters necessary for proper application will be the same for any brand of hard banding machines, but adjustments may not be done in the same exact manner as shown. We can help you on your specific machine if requested. Proper preparation of the welding surface, in this case a drill pipe tool joint, is key to successful hard banding application. Buffing or grinding the area to be hard banded with a sanding disc or grinding wheel must be done prior to any welding. In addition, buff or grind the surface to be chucked in order to complete a good ground. Cleaning with a wire brush or wheel is not preferred. They have a tendency to push contamination back into cracks or porosity that may be present as opposed to removing it. With the surface clean, it's time to preheat. Determine the required preheat temperature by measuring the OD of the tool joint and referencing the chart in our Postal Hard Banding Manual or from a Postal Quick Reference Chart. Preheating can be done with a propane preheater or with induction heaters. Preheating should not be done with an oxyacetylene heating torch. The goal is to achieve a good soak heat throughout the thickness of the tool joint. Determine this by removing the tool joint from the heating device, measuring the temperature, then allowing the tool joint to stand in still air for four minutes, then remeasuring the temperature. If the temperature drop is more than 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius, the heating is only surface and not a soak heat. To help achieve a soak heat, it is recommended that you rotate the tool joint multiple times while preheating. Heating the tool joint while in the chuck is not recommended. Using an infrared pyrometer or temperature probe, remove the preheater several times to check the temperature of the tool joint. We recommend that you preheat to a temperature 30 to 50 degrees higher than your desired finish temperature because temperatures will drop as you line up and chuck the tool joint. This is especially true in colder ambient temperatures. When temperature is reached, remove the preheater and wipe soot off the tool joint. The tool joint must be completely free of any contamination prior to hard banding. Raise the torch head to make room for loading. Load the tool joint into the chuck. Once centered in chuck, tighten the chuck and lower torch to proper stick out height. You are now ready to hard band. At this point, your hard band unit should be set at the proper torch angle, stick out height, proper torch offset, oscillation speed and width, and rotational speed. Rotate chuck to a starting point. This must be done to facilitate step over, whether automatically, recommended, or manually done. Purge your gas to check flow. It should be 35 CFH, or 16.5 LPM. In windy conditions, increase your flow rate. If everything is ready, flip the weld switch and start the chuck rotation. If auto step over is used, flip the auto step over switch. Disregard last step if you are stepping over manually. While welding, check your weld puddle and make amperage and volt adjustments if necessary. With DuraBand or TuffBand, you want a nice spray arc from the tip of the wire to the surface of the tool joint. Keep your puddle from running off the side of the tool joint or building up on top of the tool joint by making slight adjustments to the torch angle. The first step over will be automatic. If manually stepping over, watch for your starting point and get ready to move the torch. Once you have completed the required number of bands, flip the weld switch to off and stop rotation. Immediately check inner pass temperature, measuring one inch or 25 millimeters from the last band applied. This temperature should not exceed 800 degrees Fahrenheit or 454 degrees centigrade. Raise the torch head for clearance. Loosen chuck and remove tool joint. Measure the OD of the hard bands to determine if you have the required 3 32nd to 1 8th inch or 2.4 to 3.2 millimeter finish band height using a postal hard banding gauge or calipers. If not, make the necessary adjustments prior to starting the next tool joint. Immediately cover the hard banded tool joint with a postal HB insulator or cooling can to facilitate slow cooling. <laughs> 